Hello everybody, this is Glenn and welcome to Artwave 27. Today I'm drawing a Viking. The other day I was feeling a little frustrated with some stuff and this image kind of came into my head. I get the feeling it was sort of mirroring what was going on inside me. I just wanted to yell and so it kind of stuck there so I decided to run with it. First thing I'd like to say is that there's nothing wrong with using reference material. It's sort of a staple of artists, especially when you're drawing people or complicated things or uh, things that you just really don't know what they look like. And I really wanted to get the feel for a guy yelling, so I found a picture of a guy yelling. Uh, you don't want to, you don't want to infringe on anybody's copyrights. It's really easy to find uh, copyright-free images. Uh, the guy that was on there that I took a, that, I, that I used the picture from, it was stamped right on it, copyright-free. So I do. it was okay to use that image. Anyway, so I've already I've got it sketched out. I, I did the pencil drawing. I did a little more detailed pencil drawing than I normally do. Uh, I just because I really wanted to get the details in the face and the teeth and the, and the, and the hair and everything. Um, but now I'm inking it in here. And I'm really kind of just inking it sort of open a little bit. The, the, Inking is not going to be the finished product. I'm going to be putting color into it. So I don't have to get real detailed with the inking. I just kind of want to mostly highlight and darken the most important areas. You know, just sort of enclose and bring out and sharpen the, the features. And then as I put in the color, that will um, add more detail to it. So I'm not really doing any detailing with this right here. Uh, I'm using a Pentel paintbrush pen. I really like that. I really like how, how it gets uh, thick and thin when you're going around corners and, and doing lines. It really makes a really interesting line. And uh, it's really good. The only thing is if you try to go backwards with it or, or in a certain direction, it'll kind of mash up on you. So you gotta pay attention to what direction you're going because it is, it is basically a paintbrush. Anyway, so... Uh, now I'm putting in some uh, gray shading, dark gray shading, just to kind of like what I said, to just sort of heighten the, uh, the areas and deepen the shadowy areas and just kind of bring out uh, the form and everything of everything that I'm drawing. And uh, this will all be under the color. So I'm using a, a gray marker. And then as I put the colored markers over the top of it, it'll, it'll just deepen the color of the color, if that makes any sense. Anyway, so now I'm uh, putting in the, I always work from uh, darkest to lightest. So I'll, I'll go in and just work in the shaded areas, work in the middle tone areas, and then work into the highlight areas. And that's just kind of the way I work. I don't know if it's the, it's the best or even right way, but it, you know, it works for me. Also, it's really good to have an understanding of color theory, color, the way it works with each other and, and how it is in reality like right here I'm actually using sort of a yellowish brownish green for his for his beard and hair and I'm gonna be putting yellows over the top of that and it'll 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 give a more interesting shadow more interesting shade now I'm putting in blue and when I put the yellow over the top of it it'll be a deeper sort of more interesting looking color and if you use the opposite color that you're going to put on top of it, like if you're doing red and you put a little bit of green underneath it, it'll make that red uh, like a deeper, darker red. Um, if you use the opposite color that's on the color wheel for your, your shading, it'll just make it look deeper and darker and better. Um, and it has a more interesting look to it, more realistic look to it, I think. Oftentimes I use purple to highlight and, and, uh, areas and bring it put in some shadows stuff like that you know so anyway so now i'm putting the yellow over the top of the beard and just kind of leaving highlighted areas leaving areas of white paper so it looks like shiny spots and um you don't you don't, you don't want to fill in the whole thing unless you're going to go back and put in uh shiny spots with paint um some people do that and i've done that too also with like a paint marker or a paintbrush and you could use gouache or something like that to put in the, the highlights um, that works and it looks pretty good too. 
I tend to I tend to prefer leaving uh, white areas. It's my method that I like better. Anyway, so now I'm going into the gold of the helmet. Um, I wanted to look I wanted to look gold, uh, so I used a blue for the shadowing, and then when I put the gold blue gold yellow color over the top of it, it'll kind of give it a duller look to that in that area. And it, I wanted it to have a, a different color scheme than the hair. I don't want it to look the same as the hair. You know, you, you got to use different colors, even though it's kind of the same sort of sort of look. And you're using, you know, basically the you know, yellows and whatever. Um, kind of want to use like a different color scheme if you have two different areas that have a similar color scheme, but they are two different substances. So it looks better that way. Anyway, so coming to the end of it. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for an end message. Thank you. All right. Hey, hello, everybody. My name is Glenn and this is Abby. A friend of mine said that he enjoyed when he got to see the person behind the hand. So here's my face. Hi. Hi, Nicholas. Anyway, so I just wanted to tell everybody thank you for watching. Thank you for being supportive. And thank you for always being there when I'm making videos and commenting and liking. And I appreciate it. And just keep it up, please, because I got a lot more coming. I'm working on my quality all the time, getting it better and better. And uh, trying to get more and interesting things. I got some ideas for stuff in the future. Uh, some big projects some little projects, and uh, just whatever I can think of. So keep stay tuned and uh, keep watching. Thank you very much. Bye.